Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but we are back and I'm here in my new apartment in Seattle. I just moved in two days ago, I think, and I'm going to show you guys what the apartment is like and I'll probably start downstairs just to show you guys the whole place. I think it's two buildings actually, but I'm in one of them uh, here in U District. So not in downtown Seattle, but I think is nicer. So I got here about two days ago and before that I was actually just traveling the entire time after Bullock, so I didn't even have a place because my lease in Berkeley was up before I got back from Bullock and so I decided not to get a place because I was traveling. I was in New York and as you guys saw in those videos, and I went to Madison and I came here to Seattle and actually didn't record anything because I was just kind of hanging out with friends and trying to enjoy my time because when you're holding this camera around trying to vlog, especially with people that don't want to be in the video, it's a little bit tough. I will say though, the biggest excuse I have for not making videos all the time is because it's really hard to record stuff and create content when you have an actual full-time job. And my friend's gonna clown me because they think I don't work. But as a product manager, you set your own hours. Honestly, it's pretty nice because during the day if I don't wanna work and I wanna do something else and I don't have meetings, then I can catch up on work at night. And if it's not a deliverable that's due at you know 12 noon, that I can get it done at 11 p.m. at night and be the exact same product. That being said though, there is a product release I'm working on that is taking up a lot of my time. And so there were videos that I'd scheduled to record and stuff like that, but I ended up not actually recording anything because I had work meetings all day and it took into the night to actually do real work and so I am not a full-time YouTuber and I don't have time to do that but when I can and I do have the time it is fun to make videos so I'm making one today in the few hours that I have left of sunlight. So the whole deal with this apartment I'm actually living with my brother for these two months that we have this lease it's actually not even like a full-blown lease it's only for a couple months because I am indeed still trying to buy a house this year and I'm going to execute on that plan. Today is Tuesday I think uh, our lease officially starts in the first, but I paid the guy that I'm subleasing from uh, this room that I'm staying in uh, for this week because I wanted to move in a little earlier before my brother gets here. So the apartment is not fully furnished, but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like so far. And I mean, it's not lavish or anything. It's just a very regular U District kind of apartment, but I will show you guys around and hope you guys enjoy the video. Damn it. I'm gonna start in the garage and work my way up to my apartment so I can show you guys kind of the whole living situation here. So here we are in the garage of the apartment. I feel like nobody shows this in their apartment tour videos, but personally for me, especially when I buy a house, parking is gonna be huge. Actually, any apartment that I've lived in in the past, I find that parking is extremely important to me because I care about my car and while I don't care about this car quite as much as the other cars that I've had. I do enjoy having a good parking spot and being able to park inside. That's big. Also, in case you're wondering, yes, I did perm my hair today. And Billy's gonna be mad because I didn't go to his place in Virginia, but my hair was getting unruly. And I'm sick and tired of having straight hair, having to do it every morning and waking up with a really bad bedhead. So hopefully this perm will keep it from being very annoying and uh, kind of less work in the long run. So this is where I park my car. And yes, it is a 2017 Jeep Patriot. It's a very regular car. It's not a 135i or an M3 or anything like that. But it does the job. This parking garage is pretty small, to be honest, for the number of units that are in this apartment. But I think they only sell the reserved spots here. Uh, there's like three of them, but there's also unreserved spots. So you can park anywhere. And I park my car here because it's close to the elevator and it's good. Now I'm gonna take you guys upstairs to the rest of the apartment. Shit. I'm actually gonna show you guys the lobby first because it's actually kind of lavish, unlike the rest of the apartment. There's a mirror for when you get out of the elevator. Before you start your day. The lobby area.
it's still pretty hot out today, but it's definitely not half as bad as it was yesterday. I went to Uville to Starbucks to do work because it's literally impossible to do work in the apartment. I think two thirds of the homes in Seattle don't have AC because generally during the summer it doesn't get above the 70s here and so that doesn't warrant the need for AC. But yesterday would tell you otherwise. So the whole reason I'm actually staying in Seattle for the summer, just for the two months, uh, rather, living with my brother is because he's going to OCS for the Marine Corps in the fall and he's not leaving until like September, I think. So having the two month lease is perfect because he just graduated from UW and his lease was up there. I'm gonna finish the two months here and then he's going to Quantico. This is the hallway of the apartment, obviously. And if you remember from that UVA video, all I did for that B-roll was just a little turn of the camera. I'm sure you guys enjoyed that. This is the apartment. And unlike other YouTubers, I did not clean it up just for you guys. My apartment is in its original state as it would be if you just walked in and I wasn't expecting anyone. These shoes are a mess because I'm selling slash getting rid of these shoes. If you're looking for some football cleats, please let me know. I'll cut you a good deal. This is a little nook area. Uh, kind of an extra room here. This is my room. Queen sized bed that I purchased on Amazon for like $200. I've actually purchased the exact same freaking mattress, the Zinus Ultima Memory Foam Green Tea Mattress seven different times in different variations across different summers. I always get lazy and just either sell it or get rid of it at the end of the summer or at the end of my lease. And so I don't carry it with me to the next destination, just buy a new one. Personally, I think that's easier because Amazon exists. So bed, lamp, fan is critical because it is hot as balls here, at least these days. My workstation, I am going to have my dual monitor set up that I got from work. Uh, or I ordered from work rather, but it hasn't arrived yet. This lamp is pretty fucking cool. You just tap anywhere and it makes it turn on. Dope. This is my view, not dope. Lousy mirror from Walmart or Target, I think. I need to repack my gear. I have more gear in the car. And TA50 I haven't even picked up from my unit clothes. I tried to sell a lot of my clothes before I moved here and I think I still need to get rid of some of this stuff but this is what I'm working with right now. Hallway. This is the kitchen. Turn the light on. Lights are kind of nice. The kitchen. Okay. Uh, breakfast which is cereal and bananas that are in here. and water, gallon of milk. I've been drinking 1% milk because I'm now on a weight loss journey. Kitchen appliances and shit, all the standard equipment that you need from your kitchen. Snacks from the road trip because I drove here from Virginia. It took me three days. Another hallway takes you to washer dryer the bathroom, very standard bathroom setup, and uh, highly recommend. Probably gonna get a lot of shit for this, but I don't care. Five in one. They rebranded it, so new packaging, same good. Okay, good, good. This will be my brother's room and he hasn't moved in yet. He doesn't know I'm making this video either. His view is better. You can see nothing. He has a desk for free, which I did not get one for free. Uh, this is the living area, table, my blood pressure monitor because I, Okay, let me explain this actually. So I went to see the doctor earlier today because it's been a while since I got a physical outside of the one that I got at Bullock. And at the doctor's office, they take your blood pressure and today it was fine. And when I told the doctor that I normally have a little bit high blood pressure, as in like pre-hypertension levels, he was like, 
oh, well, they probably used the wrong size cuff on your arm. And there's no way to verify that I actually have any high blood pressure because today it was normal. So I guess I'm just going to use that and keep track of how it's, how it's doing. And if it gets above a normal level, then I suppose I'll call him back and be like, you're wrong. So this, I think it's a good investment. Like 15, 20 bucks and you can keep track of your heart health so you don't get a stroke. TV, two big couches, which are nice. I'm gonna show you guys the view real quick and then I'm gonna close them so the heat doesn't get in. Awesome view, it's blocked by trees. Yep, that's it. So there you have it. That's pretty much all there is to it with this apartment. It's, uh, I think it's quite nice and uh, has all the things that you need, washer, dryer, parking spot especially. I don't know if I'm gonna be spending a whole lot of time here this summer. I told myself that I was gonna stop traveling and focus on work and just get dialed in on things, but I can still do that when I'm working, just need to bring my laptop. I guess I forgot to mention, I'll just explain the pricing of this place because people are always interested. So this place, I think total, it's a two bed, one bath here in U District in Seattle. And it costs, I think 2,200 a month, but I'm subleasing obviously, and I don't know if the people that I'm subleasing from got a deal with the renting office or the leasing office uh, when they moved in. My left arm is getting tired. As you guys can tell, this is a big camera and holding it up for extended periods of time is a quite a shoulder workout. Uh, so it's 2,200 a month and that doesn't include parking. So parking is 150 a month for an unreserved spot. Um, so we each pay 1,100, uh, you share a bathroom and it's a pretty big space as you guys can tell. So I think it's very worth it especially compared to like Cap Hill, anywhere downtown Seattle, first hill, Cap Hill area, uh, you're not gonna get anything for 20, you, you get a one bed, one bath for maybe 2200. So that's what I pay here. I think it's very worth it. And I think it's a nice area because living in U District, uh, there's a lot of good food right on the Ave. And it's very close to downtown Seattle, pretty much is. And you get good views of downtown at night. So I don't know how much I'm gonna keep doing the vlogging thing. I feel like every time I pick up the camera, I'm doing some type of drinking debauchery and I don't wanna really just do straight drinking B-roll for all my videos. So comment down below what kind of content you guys wanna see. Uh, I'm obviously no longer at Fort Leonard Wood and I realize a lot of my subscribers subscribe because that damn day in the life at Fort Leonard Wood, but I am a reserve officer and so I do civilian things which is probably going to be the majority of this channel, but we'll see. Who knows what the future will bring. I'm gonna try to keep cranking out some videos for you guys when I have the time. And until next time, I will see you all in the next one.